Sports tonight. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. It's always a delight to have you join us. I'm Austin Okorakwan. It's still an action packed, engaging, interesting, exciting world of sports. What are you not talking about? Some people are still talking about the transfer deadline day. Football fans in Nigeria are talking about the new Super Eagles team that the new technical advisor, Raw, is trying to build. We're also counting down to the 2016 Paralympics Games. There's so much to talk about. There's also the US Open. I told you, action packed all the sports. Let's get into the show quickly. Let's not waste any more time. You know, you can be part of this program. Let's quickly bring you into it. Don't just watch the show. Come, let us play for the love of the game on Twitter. Our channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I think sports. You can also send us an email to sports tonight at channels tv.com. What are you talking about? We want you to be part of the program tonight on the show. Just also let you know that all our top stories can be viewed on our website. It's channels tv.com and on YouTube for slash channels web. If you're on the go, don't worry, you can still be part of all that we'll be doing tonight. Just go to m.channels tv.com, download the channels tv app for your iPad, iPhone, Blackberry ios your windows phones and even your android phone can do the magic isn't it lovely that you will stay in touch in this racy pacey action packed to all the sports so much is going down when i say so much i'm not joking so much is going down in our world of sports is now five more days to the 2016 paralympic games that's one puts so much smiles on our faces because it's another opportunity for some persons to feel the power of sports athletes are already touching down in rio for the games and their smiles are just contagious they're happy that sports is giving them a chance an opportunity to prove to the world that when you're down you cannot be out team nigeria left for rio today and we're rooting for them we're wishing them all the best we're hoping that this experience will be one that will transform their lives for a lifetime five more days to the 2016 rio olympics let me bring the guys that will be talking uh on the program tonight there's so much to talk about remember it's not just this guy you will also be part of the program in your own ways Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I think sports. Let's do this together, shall we? Olawale, Shola joins us on the show. Olawale, good to have you. It's been a while. Good evening, Austin. It's good to be back in the studio. Good to your surgeon to, <laughs> to Rio. Look at me, yeah. I've been having a good time at uh, Cobra Cabana and <laughs> Abish. It's good to have you back in the studio. I don't know about that. I was, <laughs> I was following Team Nigeria. Olawale, Shola, I'll keep your side for now. You're here, Neva. Good to have you join us on the program. It was a pleasure, Austin. Mm, okay. Oh, I did have to bring this guy in before I start this discussion. What's going on in Nigeria? Today in Abuja, the Sports Reform Committee. Can I remember that committee are led by Godwin Kienka, the Honorable Minister of Sports, Solomon Dalong, set up that committee to look at ways we can refine sports, reform sports in Nigeria. They submitted their report today and hear me, <laughs> we're hearing that the federal government is set to declare a state of emergency on our sports. Yeah, <laughs> that's, only, that, that's the situation we find ourselves in. Wow. Um, we, we, we wait to see the full extent of this, uh, where we will go. Uh, from here, uh, but um, any serious-minded uh, person knows that there's a problem uh, in, in, uh, in Nigeria sports. And um, if we don't want this to continue this way, something drastic uh, has to be done to stop the cancerous decay um, uh, in, in our sports. <laughs> so we, we'll see, we'll see. But it, it goes beyond just saying these things. Want to see the action? I know, yeah, me, and you know why I know this is serious business. The minister is putting on suits. To... <laughs> serious business. Well, I don't know, but we've been talking about this. And yeah, me just mentioned that we should be able to walk the talk. But when you look at our sports generally, indeed, you agree that we need to fix things. There are a lot of things to fix in our sports, but my problem is that every time we have a shambolic showing hmm. in an international competition, we come back home. We just set up. And a committee to bring out a report. Unfortunately, we've had several reports. They are lying there in the shelves in Abuja, gathering dust. Mm. The problem is that we need to walk the talk. Right. We have the policy, a national sport policy, that has been there since the 1960s. All we need to do is to fine tune it to meet up with the present day demand, the present day commercial and business demand that sport has become all over the world. Mm. If we can do that, we don't have a problem. But if we cannot do that, as Yemi Riley said, if you cannot walk the talk, hmm. it will be the same thing at the 2020 oh my God. Olympics in Tokyo. Scary. 
that's scary. You know what? They have said they are part of, of the story. Let's listen to sound bites from that meeting in Abuja. Nigerian sports in a state of emergency. Sports tonight on Channel Still will be right back. Stay with us. Following the performance of um, Nigeria at the last Olympics, even though we made some far reaching impressions above our last performance in London. Uh, it is not enough to, to, to go with our status as a nation. Therefore, there is a need for us not to go back to the normal drawing board that will still produce the, the same results. We are indeed in a state of emergency in the sports industry because of lack of functionality of so many components of the industry. You do not produce an Olympic champion in four years. So if you take an Olympic at a possible athlete and train him every day for four years, he's not likely to be an Olympic champion. It is a well-managed long-term process from discovery to world champion. Everything in between is a milestone. Chairman of the Sports Reform Committee, Godwin Kenka. Uh, Yemi, I'm, I want to come back to you again. This is serious business. Yemi, but when you look at the numerous problems associated with sports in Nigeria, where do you think we can start from in fixing things? Uh, uh, maybe with the federations. Um, right. You clean the rot in the system. Mm. We've always complained about people who do not even know the sports they, they claim to administer in the first place. <laughs> That's a problem. Then, um, li like you said, developmental programs um how it, there's something very key you you don't just get a medal winner at the olympics in four years mm. it's not it's, you you might be you might be lucky but how you will be depending on is luck but if you want to really do the work at least eight years I know. at least eight years you get somebody who is maybe if, even and even it also depends on the sport that's right. Yeah. Because if somebody is a gymnast, you probably have to get them from <laughs> seven, eight. Yeah. And put in eight, eight good years of hard work. Then by 15, you know, the medal harvest begins. So we, we, we can start from the federations. Yeah. You know, accountability is another issue. Mm. We've had problems with, um, I hate to point to the direction of football, but that's the example that you have. That's yeah, the ridiculous the stories yeah. about money, money growing legs, mm. missing. Uh, you have issues about people not being held accountable yeah. and cases being brought against some people and it just ends there. Nobody. Right. So it's um, business. If, if we can do that three, in, number one, it serves as a deterrent. Only people that are genuinely interested in developing the game who have the interest of the sports mm. who come into position I then agree. government do his own part mm. create the enabling environment it, it's not so, about throwing yeah. money at people mm. it doesn't always work I it doesn't know. always work just think that if i give you 10 million pounds to beat money per care, you're not going to do it it's not possible <laughs> it's not possible. i give <laughs> it to some people but that's a, that's a very good point Look, I always use Andre de Grasse, the Canadian sprinter, yes. as an example. They started serious work on this guy when he was 16. He's just 21 and he was at the Olympics. At the Commonwealth Games, this guy finished last in his event. Yes. In 2016, he's winning bronze in 100 meters at Usain Bolt and Justin Gatlin yes. and winning silver in 200 meters. It means if we want to transform things, we must look at the grassroots. Okay, the problem is that I'll start from... Um when we returned to civil rule in 1999, during the military area, the military government held sports as, a, as an esteemed industry. Hmm. That was how we had successes from the military. 80s, 90s. That's right. But immediately the politicians came into government. It was money, 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 money. Everybody was looking for money. Every time the canary now saw sports as an avenue to make money. Now, in sports, interest must come before money. Hmm. Now, Yemi, Austin, let me tell you something there. We got it wrong immediately. Public schools nose dive in terms of excellence. They were the bedrock of discovering talent. Hmm. When you discover talent, you have to nurture your talent. And when you nurture your talent, that's why you not prepare your talent psychologically, mentally, and physically yeah. 
to go and attain success in an Olympics. You don't just go to an Olympics just mm. be with mere bodies to go and win medals. It's not possible. No, it you can't do that. Mm. So before, 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 before you stop me, in 1996 that we won a lot of medals, it's a, that next year was just a product of long years of planning, long years of preparation, mm. and long years of sacrifice and hard work. Mm. Chairman Joe didn't, didn't just grace the podium in 1996. Chairman Joe has been there since 1987. That's right. World Championship. Football. Yeah, he played football. Yeah. We have been there since 1986. They won in 1996 just because they've been there for long. Mm. They've been preparing. Mm. They paid their dues. Mm. Wow. I know. I know. Be part of the conversation. Uh, we're looking for ways we can restructure, redefine, transform sports in Nigeria. And at the Godwin Kenka presentation, the Sports Reform Committee, uh, said the federal government will declare a state of emergency on sports in Nigeria. These guys agree that it's about time. I want to fix things. So what do you think? Talk to us. I want to read comments on ways we can develop sports in Nigeria on Twitter. It's channels underscore sports. Let's just show some love to the Paralympic Games. I told you five more days to go. Team Nigeria. Uh, they should be airborne now about to, you know, touch down in, in Rio. We're wishing them all the best. But let's go find out who else is living for Rio uh, for the Paralympic Games. It's Germany. And guys, the Paralympic Games, um, I keep saying it, it's so special, it's so sweet. I mean, I said so many things that we can do with the games. And Allah, this is another avenue for us to say, let these guys not go back as they did in London. They won six gold medals, came back. We didn't talk much about them. By the time they're back this time, we shouldn't just say well done, whether or not they do well. We should look at ways we can start developing special sports. And Austin, the disadvantaged people, they're the part of our society. Not just because we're able-bodied, that we should give accolades to the people that are walking on the street alone. These are people should be recognized. These are the people that have won. They won medals, I mean, the able-bodied people. The number of medals won at the, at the Paralympics is far higher than the number of medals won by the able-bodied at the Olympics. We should give them their own recognition. Mm. They'll go there again. I know we have a better, a better chance of winning more medals at the, at the Paralympic game. They should be, they should be encouraged. That's right. Because for every That's part of the society, there is a synergy in the society. Mm. Right from the ecosystem, to the people that are living in society, to the, to, to the disadvantaged people. When these disadvantaged people are not well taken care of, they become the burden to the able-bodied. But when they are well taken care of, they can stand on their own yeah. and do things on their own. Mm. So it becomes a, an all-happy happy situation. I agree. But when you neglect one, mm. feeding one, mm. you are creating the, you are creating the problem for the, for the one you are being, that is being fed. Living the unfed, it becomes a problem in society. Those they should be recognized. They should be recognized. I totally agree. I mean, let's just tell the Paralympic Games. It wasn't good for Russia. They waited. There was so much worry for the proper Olympics. Now, the Paralympics, same thing. The Swiss courts, what are they saying? Uh, they're holding their fire. Um, they, were, they, were, they were expecting, uh, well, I'm not a lawyer, but I think the term is that um, a ruling that would have allowed them to participate yeah. in the Paralympics. You know, the International Paralympic Committee have said, look, Russia, you're not going to be at the Paralympics, Olympic. you are mm. also not going to be in the 2018 Winter Games. It's all bad. Wow. For so, so the Russians were trying to say, mm. uh, let's take it one at a time. 2018 <laughs> is still long. I know. It's still a way. Let's fight for yeah. mm. the Paralympics yeah. and see what uh, we can get. And they were, they tried to go through cars. It didn't work. Tried to go through the Swiss court. Mm. And the, the Swiss, Swiss court, the, what, the, the only thing they could have done um, it's not that they really do have power to obtain cars. They have, if, if uh, the process, if there's something faulty about the process, they can just discover uh, and just bring but, it out. That can you know, but case. aside that, they really do not have any, they okay. do not hold any power over yeah. cars. Okay. You know, so they were just hoping that maybe something could have um, happened. But, but also for me, the interesting thing for me, uh, for us to watch out for, is the possible backlash. Hmm. Because the Russian president uh, has gone on record to say, this is a conspiracy against Russia <laughs> by, by the Western, by the Western world, and you know he gave the, the Olympians mm. a, a lavish um, reception. That's right. He said a lot of things. Need to rub things in our faces. You, you guys are my heroes. That's right. The world was against oh you. God. You came back. Mm. You, you, um, you, you delivered. And you know, and the, the, the word on the street is. I know. Other, I know. Why are you single at Russia? Because <laughs> other. Just Russia at the moment. You know, We'll come back to that discussion. It's not going well for Russia at the Paralympic Games. You know, we're going to a quick break. When we come back, there's still so much to talk about, so don't go anywhere. Stay.